Hey, honey, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. I've noticed you've been a bit distant lately. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Just been a little preoccupied with work, you know. It's been pretty hectic lately. And I totally understand work can get busy, but it feels like something else is bothering you. We've been married for a few months now, and I thought we would have gone on our honeymoon by now. I remember you mentioning work, but it seems like it's been non-stop. Is there something you're not telling me? No, no, Felix, really. It's just work. You know how demanding my job can be sometimes. I promise, there's nothing else going on. All right, you say so. It's just that I was really looking forward to spending some quality time together after the wedding. It feels like we haven't had a chance to truly relax and enjoy our marriage. I know, and I'm sorry. I wish things were different, but right now, work is just overwhelming. I'll make it up to you, I promise. We'll plan something special when things calm down a bit. Okay, I look forward to it. It's just a difficult time at work, but it'll pass, and we'll have the time we deserve together. I just want you to know that we're a team now, and I'll be here for you for whatever you need. Thank you, I appreciate your support. I'll try to be patient and understanding. Just remember that I'm here for you no matter what. I want us to be able to share our joys and struggles openly without any barriers. Thank you, Felix. I also appreciate your understanding. I love you, Sarah. I'm here for you always. Let's keep supporting each other. Our marriage has only just begun, and I know it'll only continue to grow stronger. I love you too, Felix. Your support means the world to me. Together, we'll face whatever comes our way and come out stronger, just like you said. Hey, Felicity, can I, uh, talk to you about something? Oh, hey, Felix. What do you want to talk about? I'm getting really worried about Sarah. Ever since our wedding a few months back, she's been acting really weird and distant. I don't know what's going on, but it feels like something's not right. Um, yeah, I've noticed she's been a bit off lately, too. Maybe she's just adjusting to married life, or dealing with some personal stuff. You know how people can be sometimes. Yeah, I thought it might be just the adjustment period, but it feels deeper than that. We haven't even gone on our honeymoon yet. Even though she said that she couldn't take time off because of work, it's like she's keeping something for me, and it's making me really anxious. Oh, I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for all of this, Felix. Maybe work has been really crazy for her, and she's just overwhelmed. I wouldn't jump to any conclusions just yet. I know I shouldn't jump to conclusions, but it's hard not to when our communication has become so strained. I've tried talking to her about it, but she keeps brushing it off, saying it's just work. Do you think I should just push her harder to open up? Well, it's important to respect boundaries, Felix. If she says it's just work, then maybe she needs some time and space to sort things out. Pushing too hard might make her withdraw even more. Patience might be the key here. I understand that, but I feel like there's a wall between us, and I don't know how to break it down. I get where you're coming from, Felix, but I think you're overthinking things. It's probably nothing, and you're just making things worse by pushing the point. I guess you're right, Felicity. Uh, I'll try to be patient and give her the space she needs. It's just hard not knowing what's going on and feeling disconnected from the person I love. I hope things get better soon. I understand. I wish I could offer more advice or help, but I really don't think there's anything to worry about other than her stress from work. Thanks, Felicity. I appreciate your support and understanding. I'll do my best to be patient and supportive. Hopefully, things will improve soon, and we can get back to being the happy couple we were before. Of course, Felix. I'm here for you, too. Just remember that relationships go through ups and downs. Communication can be challenging at times. Stay strong, and I hope everything works out for the both of you. Thanks, sis. Hey, Sarah. Something really strange happened today. I ran into a friend of mine, and they mentioned seeing you at a hotel. I didn't know you had any plans to go there. Can you explain what's going on? Felix, I have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't been to any hotel. Your friend must be mistaken or confused. It's unlikely that they would lie about something like this. They're a reliable friend. And I don't think they would be making something like this up. Are you sure you're being honest with me? It's just that things have been off between us lately, and now this news? I don't know what to think. Felix, I'm being completely honest with you. I have no reason to lie about something like this. 
Maybe your friend saw someone who looked like me, but it definitely wasn't me. I've been at work all day, just like I told you. This is all becoming too confusing, Sarah. I want to trust you, but these inconsistencies are making it difficult. You've been distant lately, and now there's this sighting that doesn't align with your story. Can you please just tell me the truth? What's really going on? Felix, I understand that you're feeling confused, but I honestly have no idea why your friend would say such a thing. I haven't been to any hotel, and I haven't done anything that would betray your trust. I love you, and I'd never do anything to jeopardize our relationship. I want to believe you, Sarah. I really do, but it's getting harder when things don't add up. We're supposed to be partners, and that means being open and honest with each other. If you're keeping something from me, it's better to come clean now than to let it fester and damage our marriage further. Felix, I swear there's nothing I'm keeping from you. I can't explain why your friend saw me at a hotel because I simply wasn't there. I understand your concerns, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to prove my loyalty to you. Please believe me. I want to, Sarah, I do, but this situation is making it incredibly difficult. I need more than just words to reassure me. I need transparency. I am being honest with you. I just feel like you're hiding something from me. I just don't know what. I'm sorry you feel this way. I'm not sure what else to say to you that'll reassure you. I... I don't know. Things just still seem to be off between us, and I can't understand why. It's all stemmed from right after our wedding. I think you're just overthinking things, Felix. Funny. That's what my sister said to me, too. You've spoken to your sister about this? Well, yes. We're really close, and I share a lot of things with her. What did she say? Not much, actually. She wasn't as helpful as she usually is, but also told me that I was overthinking. Well, we can't both be wrong. You need to stop letting your thoughts run away from you. Sarah, we need to talk. What's the matter? I've discovered something that I never thought I would. You'll have to be more specific here, Felix. With things still not sitting right with me, I hired a private investigator to follow you, and the evidence is undeniable. There were receipts and hotel bookings under your name, proving that you've been having an affair. I didn't want to believe it, but I can't deny the hard truth. Please, I beg of you, just come clean and tell me the truth. Felix, I, I guess there's no use trying to deny it any longer. I did have an affair, and I'm so sorry for betraying your trust. How could you, Sarah? We just got married, and I thought we had a future together. I can't understand why you do this to us. I can't explain it. I'm, I'm sorry. Please, I'm willing to work on a relationship, but I need you to be honest with me. You owe me that much. I never meant to hurt you. I understand that you want the whole truth, but... I can't bring myself to share that with you. It's complicated, and I fear the repercussions it might have. I know it's selfish, but please try to understand. How can I understand, Sarah? You've shattered my trust, and now you're withholding vital information? I want to forgive you. I want to salvage our marriage, but I can't do it without full transparency. Please know that my intention was never to cause harm to you. There are factors at play that make it difficult for me to disclose everything right now. Can't we work on a rebuilding our relationship despite this one secret? I wish I could say yes, Sarah, but I want to believe that we can overcome this, but how can we build a future on a foundation of lies and half-truths? Our marriage is based on trust, and right now, that trust is shattered. I need you to understand the gravity of the situation and the importance of honesty. I do understand, Felix. And I'm truly sorry for the pain I've caused. I'm willing to give you time to open up to me, Sarah. But please know that the longer you keep secrets from me, the harder it'll be for me to trust you again. I'm not asking for immediate answers. But I am asking for a commitment to honesty and open communication moving forward. Our relationship depends on it. I understand, and I'll do my best. I'll work on being more honest with you and finding a way to rebuild the trust that's been broken. I hope we can find a way to move past this. I love you, Sarah, and I truly hope we can find a way to heal. It won't be easy, but if we're both committed to the process, there might be a chance for us. Let's take things one step at a time. Hey, Felicity, I need to talk to you again. Sure, what's bothering you? It's been really difficult since our last conversation, and I don't know who else to turn to. 
You know I'm always here for you. What's been going on? I found out that Sarah has been having an affair, and I confronted her about it, but she wouldn't reveal who it was with. I'm at a loss with what to do, and it's tearing me apart, quite frankly. I want to save our marriage. It's so new. I feel like I have to confess something to you. What do you mean? What is it? It's something I should have said earlier, but I was afraid of the consequences. I can't keep it inside any longer. The guilt is eating me up. Please, just promise me you'll listen before passing judgment. What is it, Felicity? Please just tell me. I'm trying to make sense of everything, and I can't handle any more surprises or secrets. I'm the one Sarah's having an affair with. What? I'm so sorry. I never intended for it to happen, but our feelings for each other grew, and we couldn't resist it. I don't expect you to understand, and I know it's incredibly selfish of me to hurt you this way. No, th th that can't be true. Why would Sarah go through with our marriage if she was a lesbian? It doesn't make any sense. I know it's hard to believe, Felix, but it's the truth. I'm so sorry for betraying you like this. I can't even begin to express the guilt I've been carrying. I, I don't even know what to say. I trusted both of you, and now I feel like my world is crumbling. How could you do this, Felicity? How could you both deceive me like this? I know my actions were inexcusable, Felix. I, I wish I could go back and change everything. I never wanted to hurt you, but I fell in love with Sarah, and she fell in love with me. We couldn't control our emotions, and it let us down this painful path. I can only ask for your forgiveness, even though I don't deserve it. But that doesn't explain why she still married me. I don't know if I can forgive you right now, Felicity. This revelation has shattered my trust in both of you. I need time to process everything and figure out how to move forward. Right now I'm filled with anger, betrayal, and confusion. I never thought I'd find myself in this situation. I understand, Felix. I don't expect you to forgive me easily, if ever. I'll respect your need for time and space. Just know that I'm truly sorry for the pain I've caused you, and do whatever it takes to make amends. If there's a chance to rebuild our relationship, I'll be here, ready to face the consequences. I appreciate your understanding, Felicity, but right now, I need some distance to process everything. Sarah, we need to talk. I want you to be honest with me, even if it hurts. I know about you and Felicity, but what I can't put together is why you married me when the one you're truly in love with is my sister. These past few months have been so painful, and I just can't deny it any longer. Deny what? I used you. What? What do you mean you used me? My parents don't approve of my sexuality, and they threatened to cut me out of the inheritance if I didn't marry a man. I was scared and desperate, so I made up the relationship with you. I... I can't believe what I'm hearing. You played with my feelings and used our marriage as a facade to satisfy your parents? How could you do this to me? How could you allow me to believe that we had a real connection when all along it was a lie? I was selfish and thoughtless, only concerned about immediate consequences. I never meant to hurt you, and I can't express how sorry I am for what I've done. I understand if you can't forgive me, but please know that it was never my intention to hurt you this way. It's hard to comprehend the level of deception and manipulation that's occurred here, Sarah. You made me believe that our love was real that our future together meant something. I'm devastated and struggling to find a way to move forward. How could you let it go this far? I was scared, Felix. Scared of losing my family, my stability, and the life I'd known. That doesn't give you the right to use me like this. What you've done has affected my whole life. I understand, Felix. I can't expect you to forgive me easily, if ever. I'll give you the space you need to heal and decide what's best for you. Just know that I'm truly sorry for what I've put you through, and I'll do whatever it takes to make amends. I hope one day you can find it in your heart to forgive me, but please understand, my parents can't find out about this. I need this cover so that they don't become suspicious of Felicity and I. Are you kidding me right now? How can you expect me to just keep this charade going? I need time to process my emotions. I understand you're hurting Felix, but I beg you to consider my stake in all this too. Why should I? It seems that it never occurred to you what would be at stake for me. Felix, where have you been? You disappeared out of the blue, leaving me to face the wrath of my parents on my own. 
I had to come up with the excuses and explanations, and it was humiliating. How could you just abandon me like that? Abandon you? Are you are you serious, Sarah? You're the one who used me, who manipulated our marriage to please your parents, and now you have the audacity to blame me for leaving? I needed time away to process everything, to heal from the betrayal and lies. I won't be guilt-tripped for taking care of myself. Taking care of yourself? That's your excuse for leaving without a word? You had a responsibility to communicate with me. Instead, you disappeared, leaving me to clean up the mess you helped create. You have no idea how hard it was to explain your absence to my parents. Your parents? Sarah, it's funny how you conveniently forget the real reason why we got married. You used me to maintain your inheritance. You're the one who created this mess in the first place, not me. I won't be blamed for walking away from a sham of a marriage. It wasn't just about the inheritance, Felix. I was scared and confused, and I made a terrible choice, but I thought that we could work through it and find a way to rebuild trust. Instead, you chose to run away and leave me to face the consequences alone. I never expected this from you. You expected me to stay and endure the pain, humiliation, and the constant reminders of your betrayal? I'm sorry, but I won't sacrifice my own well-being for a relationship built on lies. I deserve better than that, Sarah. And what about the commitment we made to each other, Felix? For better or for worse? Do you think it's easy for me to face my parents? Knowing what I've done and the mess we're in, I thought we could face this together. But clearly, I was mistaken. The commitment we made was based on trust and honesty, Sarah. It was based on the belief that we were building a life together. But that foundation was shattered when you used me and lied to me. I can't continue in a marriage where the very core is rotten. I'm filing for divorce. Divorce? You can't do that. I've given this a lot of thought, Sarah. I've endured enough pain and heartache. It's time for me to move on and find a relationship that's built on trust, love, and genuine connection. I won't be trapped in a marriage that was born out of deceit. Fine, Felix. If that's what you truly want, then I won't stand in your way. But don't think for a second that this is entirely my fault. Sarah and I ended up getting a divorce. But I came out on top as I got as much as I could out of her. I also sued her for her inheritance as compensation for the trauma she put me through. In the end, I got all the $850,000 that her parents had put aside for her. During the case, I brought the truth to light in front of Sarah's parents, and they ended up cutting her off from the family. Not because of her sexuality, but because of her deceit to them. Before cutting both Sarah and my sister off, I told our parents of Felicity's part in this whole mess, and they forced her to end her relationship with Sarah. So, after it all, although I walked away with a broken heart and intense feelings of betrayal, my bank account was full, and I cut off all the toxic people in my life.